Welcome to another edition of Scouting Out of the Box. I'm Cassie Young coming to you from Jacksonville, North Carolina in the White Oak River District and we're part of East Carolina Council and this is... My name is Colin Young. I am the Scoutmaster for Troop 319 in the White Oak River District. Great and today we are going to go on a hike and I'm so excited. We have been stuck in the house for months. I can't wait to go outside but it's been raining so I'm prepared. I have an umbrella. I've got a pack. In fact it's kind of heavy. Will you carry it for me? Why? What's in it? Lots of stuff. What kind of stuff? Well, you want to see? Yes. Okay, so let's do this. All right, so I got my umbrella. That's important, right? Somewhat. Okay. Hmm. Okay, well, I have this really cool backpack. It's got lots of pockets. So I've got this water bottle here. That's good. Okay, cool. And in case I need extra energy, I've got this glass coffee. You, you, you don't need that. Let's move that over here. Oh. Okay, and look, I've got really cool tags and things on my backpack, and I've got hand sanitizer. Let's open it up. Here we go. Oh, 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 look, this thing right here, it's brand new. It's a whistle and a light, so I can shine the light, and then, isn't that cool? That's cool. All right, that's cool. Oh, in case I get hungry, I've got barbecue chips and um, cheese doodles. Those are good. Let's, let's not go, go with that. Oh. Okay. Well, in case I have to check my rank requirements while I'm on my hike, I bought my book. That can be good and that can be bad. It's extra weight, but in case something happens, it's good to have the knowledge. Okay. All right. So that's a maybe. Here you go. Let's see. Oh, I've got this. This is my first aid kit. So in here, I've got some hand sanitizer and I've got some alcohol wipes and some band-aids are in here too. You can leave that in there, that's good. Okay, all right, so I'll set this to the side. Here we go. That's a keeper. Oh, I've got my hat, in case I need that. Might as well just go ahead and keep it on your head. No, it's gonna mess up my hair. Oh, I've got another first aid kit. This one's really cute. It's got smiling faces on it and it has Neosporin in it. That's what the other one didn't have. Okay, so, so. let's consolidate the first aid kits in a little bit. Okay, Ooh, I've got more stuff. All right, so in case we get cold, I have an emergency blanket. Okay. And, ooh, a Hershey's chocolate bar. Yeah, you don't need that. Took away my chocolate. Oh, I've got a Nature Valley Sweet and Salty. Okay, cool. I like this. All right, let me mess up my hair with my hat. Ooh, this is really cool. It's a flashlight, but it's also solar powered. Oh, I guess it didn't charge. It doesn't work. Oh, it's on. Oh, it's on? Oh, it came on. Cool. Yay! See, it did work. All right, keep that. Okay. Oh, I do have more stuff in here. It's like the endless bag. Ooh, ooh, look, this is a compass. There we go. I think it actually works. That's good. All right. And I have my sun protection. Very important. Okay, cool. Let's see. I think that's everything. Yeah, it feels pretty empty now. Let's see. That's a lot lighter. Yeah. All right. <laughs> There's really only six essential things you actually need. Okay. Alright, for Cub Scouting, because you're not supposed to go too far away and adults are supposed to be around just in case. Okay. But it's important to have the six basic Cub Scout essentials. Okay. All they need is a smaller bag to carry for their stuff. Okay, because they only need six little things because they should have adults with them to carry the, the bulk of the material. Alright, so you, you have the bag. Small flashlight, make sure it works before you go. Okay, just a small flashlight. Whistle. All right, she had a whistle on her backpack, but the Cub Scouts should have one just in case. Now, why do I need a whistle? In case you were to get separated from the group while you guys were walking on your hike, they can have a whistle. They can stop and stay where they're at. They can blow the whistle, and then the adults and other youth walking in the hike, they'll hear the whistle and be like, oh, there's something wrong. And they can stop and turn around and they can go back towards the noise that's being generated by these. That way the person's not left behind. Good to know. All right. Another thing that they would need is their own first aid kit. It's nice that the adult scouters have theirs, but the youth need to have a kit too. There's something small. This is made out of a little soap container. And what's in this first aid kit? In this first aid kit, let's see. There's a pair of tweezers in case you get a splinter or something. There's a Purell wipe. You have some triple antibiotic ointment, kind of like Neosporin. A simple sterile alcohol pad. 
and then some band-aids. So it's a little essential first aid kit. It has everything a uh, basic Cub Scout would need. The next thing you want is some trail food. Now, she had chips before. We took those away because they're too salty for this type of trip. The chocolate bar is not needed when I'm doing s'mores because we're going on a hike. And she, I let her keep the uh, sweet and salty because that's a good nutritious uh, meal for the hike. But something like this, where you have some dried fruits and some nuts and some uh, raisins and stuff, that's basically all you need for a small hike. The most important thing is water, all right? You must have water. As far as leave no trace goes, instead of using the plastic bottle like she had before, where once it's done, you get rid of it and then it goes into the landfill or goes to get recycled, you have this reusable bottle that can be filled up over and over and over again without breaking down. The last thing is sunscreen, right? It's very important depending on what time of day you go on your hike. If the sun's out, you want to make sure you put this on. Cool, so the six essentials. So we've got sun protection, water, trail food, a flashlight, our first aid kit, and last but not least, our whistle. Now, with a whistle, if you are separated from your group, your voice might tire and it might not carry a long distance. So with very little energy, you can blow on a whistle. But nobody wants to hear the whistle unless there's an emergency. So nod with me, okay? We're not gonna blow the whistle unless there's an emergency. Oh, and what's this hanging on your bag? Oh, and this is a flashlight, so. She had a little flashlight on hers. This one is actually a headlamp. And why would I want a headlamp? Don't doctors wear things like that? Like the ear, nose, and throat doctor? They do, but that's so they can have their hands free. So when I put this on, I can put it over my hat, just like this. Then I can angle it down so when I'm walking around, I can turn it on and see where I'm walking, but I can still use my hands. Cool. All right, well, it's getting dark out, so we might need our flashlights and or headlamps on our little walk around the neighborhood tonight. That's very right. Okay, so let, will you help me pack my backpack now? Yes, I will. Okay, so let's get the right things in my bag with my stuff. Okay. All right, so I've got my bag okay. and it's empty, so it's nice and light now. Okay, so just in case. I want your sunscreen. I want my sunscreen. You don't I've need got, that water. You no. to make sure you use the other water. Bottle. Okay. So I'm going to use the good reusable water bottle. It goes in here. All right. You just need one of the first aid kits. Well, and this one's got the Neosporin. So is this one better than the other? Yes. And is it better that you can see what's in here versus this one where it's hidden? Yes. Okay. So that's that way you know option. what you actually have. Right okay. Off. All right. Okay. And okay. So I've got my snack. Correct. Okay. My flashlight. And it works. And last but not least, a whistle. Right. Perfect. Okay, so that's my six things, right? Yes, your bag is packed perfectly now. It's be a lot lighter. Yes, it's so much lighter now, and I won't get tired on our hike tonight. When you are at any scouting event, you always need to have a buddy. Will you be my buddy? Yes. Okay, we are buddies. Buddies. All right. So, buddies stick together, and that's much safer. Make sure you always check with the person in charge before you go anywhere. An adult always needs to know before you leave an area. Thank you for joining us on another edition of Scouting Out of the Box.